Hey guys, Classic Gengar here, and welcome to week two of the NPCC. Today we're battling Murkrow and the Burger Kinglers. Um, he actually battled the dude, I believe, who won last season of the NPCC, and he beat him pretty good. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is the second time I'm trying to record, uh, he missed Jinda Pokemon, so it delayed it a few minutes. Not too bad. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the same team he brought the last time, actually. Uh, I do believe he changed some stuff up, but there is Stunfisk, Murkrow, Cresselia, Tapu Koko, Weavile, and Zygarde. <clears throat> now, uh, he doesn't have any immunities to Porygon Z, so that's something to keep in mind. He does have Stunfisk, though, which, um is kind of a pain, so I'm going to lead Porygon Z um, uh, yeah that's uh, I pretty much can handle could hit most of his Pokemon and I could survive any one thing maybe not fake out and then an icicle crash from Weavile, but if he leads Weavile that's pretty ballsy um, how I prepared for this battle is I watched his last battle, I saw how he battled, and then I kind of looked at his Pokemon, a lot of common weaknesses he had, not worrying so much about exactly what he would bring, but focusing more on like, if he brought everything, I need a team that can handle it. So he is going to lead with Stunfisk, which is actually not a bad lead for me, because I do have Ice Beam on this thing. Um. This thing is going to be really bulky though. I am just going to go for the Ice Beam right off the bat. Um, it's going to hit it pretty hard. I think this thing is probably more physically invested. And um, if he swaps, that's fine. I could just normally and Z. I'm going to kind of gauge see how much this does. <clears throat> Because I think Normalium Z is probably better suited for his Cresselia. If I could get that matchup, that'd be great. I don't think Cresselia can live two Hyper Beams from Porygon Z. So, ideally, <laughs> ideally that would be what happens. But I do probably see a swap here. Maybe Weavile comes out. I mean, I think that's the only thing that really resists the uh, Ice Beam. So... I don't know how he prepared for this battle. Um, I did bring a lot of similar mons the last time, but they're all completely different. I built them all differently. Changed the items up on most of them. So I brought Muck this time, so probably would have helped me a lot last time too. He is taking his time. I'm probably play way too quickly. Might be why I lose. I'm thinking he doesn't want to take an Ice Beam from Porygon Z. Um, he might have Thunder Wave, which would really stink. He stays in. Awesome. Um, that's a two-hit KO. I'll take it. He gets Rocks up. It's fine. That is fine. That's fine. Um, he's the Leftovers. That's a roll. That is a roll. definitely a roll. I might be able to take it out here. It all depends. Really all depends. He might swap. If I could get rid of this thing, that'd be great. Um, I do have a couple Pokemon that are weak to rocks on my team. Delphox primarily and uh, then Noivern, but I do believe I outspeed most of his Pokemon except for Coco and Weavile still. So. The two really offensive Pokemon he has. So he's going to withdraw, which is fine. Space Duck is going to come out. That is fine. Um, that's, that's fine, actually. I am going to try to take this thing out now. <laughs> I'm just going to go for this and hope for the best. If he protects now, I'm screwed, but then I can... Maybe take it out next time with a Hyper Beam. This Pokemon is a huge problem for my team. 
He baited it. Damn it. Damn, I just got played. <clears throat> I should be able to take it out next turn with a Thunderbolt. Hmm. Let's see how much this does. It might be physically def defensive, but I'm thinking this thing is... Oh, wow. That was a resisted hit, too. That did a shit ton. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam here. I think that'll take it out. Um, if he goes back into his Stun Fisk. I haven't revealed Thunderbolt yet. Oh, he swaps out. Back in the Space Duck. Porygon Z is putting in some work. If I could get the Freeze. That'd be good. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. I believe it hits everything neutrally except for the Weavile, but Weavile is not very bulky. Porygon Z is spreading some damage. Spreading some pretty nice damage. Um, Psy Shock. That is at Hyper Beam range. I think that I'm going to go for one more Shadow Ball and then the Hyper Beam. Um, you could predict that. But, uh, That'd be pretty, pretty ballsy. Something's gonna go down to a hyper beam. <sighs> and I get the special defense drop. He's gonna go for the rest. That's, it's actually fine. Um, if I can get another special defense drop, I can comfortably go for a hyper beam and take it out. But, <clears throat> I am putting, I am uh, putting him through a, I'm having a hard time handling this thing, <clears throat> which is perfect, which is kind of what I needed. Um, it really stinks that I didn't get the KO with the Breakdown Blitz. Like, that would have been perfect to knock out this space stuff. Excuse me. But, Porygon Z putting in the work. I need to play when I'm drinking more often. Um, things he could do, Shadow Ball will be resisted, uh, by his Weavile, um, he might be able to survive, uh, it with, I mean, his, definitely his, um, Stun Fist can survive a Shadow Ball, but then Ice Beam will take it out, and he, I don't think he has anything offensive enough that can swap in on it. Which is the problem that I think he's having. Um, Coco could, would take me out. Um, we've all, if it's got fake out, it would be a huge pain. He's gonna withdraw, so we're gonna see what he goes into. Gypsy Queen, the Weavile. That is annoying. <clears throat> That's annoying. Um, that is resisted. Don't get a special defense drop. Will he sell steel it can handle this thing? But I don't really we just want to swap it in. Um oh. Man. Alright. Feel the fake outs coming. I definitely feel the fake out coming, so um Knock off maybe? Uh, it might be coming. Uh, icicle crash. And it misses. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. He does not want to stay in for this. Um, I'm just going to go for the flash cannon here. It's stab. I do have some special attack investment. Um, I don't think he has anything that can take me out. That is unfortunate for him. Definitely. Space Duck. It is fine. That is fine, actually. That did pretty good damage, actually. That did pretty good damage. Excuse me, again. I am just gonna go for the Leech Seed here. I'm gonna... 
kind of forced to swap, reveal another move, but this is already going to be a great battle, I can tell. Alright. Let's see here. Um, I don't know exactly what he's going to do. He's, he's staying in. Alright, sweet. Mm -hmm. This is going to wear him down some more. Pretty much cancel out the leftovers and then some. Um, when he wakes up, getting the toxic off actually would probably be a waste of time because I know for a fact he's just going to be able to rest it off, but I think I'm actually going to go into Porygon Z. No, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. I'm just going to go for another flash cannon. I'm trying not to... He's going to withdraw. Skarmory? No, Shellbird. That's fine. That is fine. Um, this is going to hurt. Uh, maybe I should have Toxic there. Uh, that's definitely going to be enough to take him out. Man. I'm going to go into my muck here and uh, kind of see Scout. He could U-turn. I do see them carry that quite a bit, and that would be pretty smart. Predicting this. I kind of, I kind of wonder what he's going to do here. I mean, obviously the electric attack is super obvious. Like, is this too obvious? Uh, Dazzling Gleam. I don't think that'll do near enough to me. Uh, he's just gonna call mine. He's gonna try to set up on me. That is kind of scary. But um, I did get a free swap into into my. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go for the poison jab here. Even if he swaps into his um his skarmory. It's still scaring this thing out, guaranteeing if he stays in, he's going down. Uh, I was distracted, so I didn't exactly see how much that did. Sorry about that. Um, so... Excalibur, alright, so that's... That's actually fine. That's fine. Poison jab is not gonna affect it. He's gonna get, all right, so we do see the leftovers. So I do think maybe this thing is more physical. I am gonna go for the knockoff here though. Roost, that's <sighs> kind of annoying. Um, but I will be able to get rid of its leftovers. So that is good. That does a good amount of damage to this thing. Um, I'm just gonna go for the crunch gonna set up spikes. That's annoying. But it is kind of what I expected from watching his last battle. Man, so will another crunch take it out? I don't think so. He's just gonna for roost. Alright. That's fine. That is fine. Um I do get the defense drop, which is pretty good. Uh, what does he have that wants to take a crunch? Nothing really. Nothing that really wants to take a crunch. I do feel like another roost is coming right now. If I could get another defense drop and then a crit, that'd be yeah, great, right? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Um, been a pretty interesting match. Uh, dang, I hope he doesn't set up all the layers of spikes, because then that would be kind of problematic. Just a little bit. What's he gonna do? He's staying in, so that's cool. Um, he's gonna whirlwind. But pr I think pretty much anything I have will outspeed this thing. 
especially poor Gunsy. Um, that is cool. I am going to go. I haven't revealed Thunderbolt yet. I have not revealed Thunderbolt. So I'm going to go for that. Um, he's going to withdraw. Space Duck comes out. That's that's fine. It's going to eat this up, but. Do I predict the, uh, should I predict that? He can't keep taking, yeah, okay, he's just, he's gonna stay in. What's he gonna do? That did a good chunk of damage. He's still asleep. Damn, I thought he'd wake up by now. Sleep talk. Interesting. Rest. Fantastic. Fan. Fantastic. I do think Hyper Beam will take it out from here though. That would be pretty cool. That would be really cool, but I don't want to have to... <laughs> I don't want to be put in that spot where I'm kind of a sitting duck. <sighs> That's doing such good damage. Yeah, alright. But, um, it is looking like that eventually, <coughs> due to maybe some hacks, I will be able to out stall this thing. Let's see. Hmm. An interesting battle for sure. Interesting battle. Ah, uh, that is doing. Okay. All I need is him to get sleep, talk, rest. That would be fantastic. He does get the side shot. That is kind of shit. Um, I can't survive another one of those. I'm gonna go for the hyper beam now. Yeah, I don't. I can't swap in, swap back out. So I'm just gonna go for it. Um, he's at neg one. Uh, so this is kind of ballsy, risky. He's gonna swap out. Gypsy Queen, this thing's dead. It's gone. <sighs> That's. Oh man. No. What? That miss kind of cancels out the other miss. That sucks so bad. That that really is. That is pretty crap. That's what that is. It's pretty crappy. I could bring Del Fox out. What does he have? What does he love that wants to take a flamethrower? Nothing wants to take a flamethrower. His, uh... What's it snots does though? And he knows that I'm scarfed because I brought it in. Alright, I'm going for it. Man, that hyper beam miss was pretty critical, actually, I'd say. Um, the icicle crash that he missed, I have a defensive cell stealer, so it probably wouldn't have done like. It would have done a decent amount of damage, but it wouldn't have done too much. But that hyper beam would have taken it out. That is kind of crappy. So, let's see how much this does. Celesteela walls this duck. So if it comes down to 1v1, Celesteela will win every time. He can't do much to me. He can just he can stall me out, but I don't think he can hurt me. Not without risking losing. He's still asleep. I can survive Shot Shock easily. Um, he's just gonna get the rest again. I'm gonna go into Muck. 
get a knockoff on something. Um, Skarmory could come in, but then I could Shadow Sneak it. It's uh, low enough that that should be plenty. And I'm immune to anything this thing can do. Muck completely walls this guy. But if this thing's asleep, it's not really a threat, so he's gonna have to swap now. This is... That Hyper Beam is... He withdraws, of course. Gypsy Queen, actually. Interesting. Which, actually, is not that interesting. You're not hitting hard at all now. Do you have a fake out? Do you have it? Alright, so... It just goes to the actual press. That's... Man. Okay, so... I'm going to sell a Steely here. And I'm just going to go for another Flash Cannon. He's pretty much going to be forced into either sacking this thing off, which wouldn't be a terrible play, or letting... Well, he's going to go into his duck. He's a ducky. Which, I will all this thing. 10 times out of 10. <sighs> this is gonna be a long, long battle, guys. Celesteela is just too damn bulky for us I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed here. I'm out bed by this Cresselia. That is insane. I was not expecting that. Well, I don't have any speed investment. So, I mean, that's not like crazy, but like not what I was expecting at all. So, I'm pretty much going to be back to full. Um, if I sell out his rest, that's fine. I mean, I no longer have anything to knock off the leftovers, but he can't recover more health than he's losing. Um, I'm gonna go for the flash cannon here. Wait, what wants to come in on the flash cannon? Weavile would go down, so would the Tapu Coco. He's just getting rest. His luck with the sleep talk is kind of crap. If I could get some special defense drops right now. No, that's fine. It's fine, it's too much to ask for, I get it. I get it, trust me. <laughs> oh, that hyper beam miss is gonna have me salty. Oh, that would have solved so many of my problems. He woke up. Calm mind. So he's gonna try calm minding up on me. That's fine. I mean, how many how many PP does I shot have? Too many? I'm not doing crap anymore. But he still can't touch me. He still can't hit me hard enough, and I'm gonna be recovering more. He would need to try to set up on me. And if I toxic him, he's going for it. He is trying to get a Cresselia sweep, and I'm just gonna toxic him, force him to rest. <clears throat> So, this is going to be a long little bit here. So, I'm going to be putting on a lot of pressure here, so. He's going to have to rest. Basically. Dang, I wish I was carrying Snarl on a... 
I'm not meant that trick. That'd be so useful right now. It's gonna go for the rest, which is fine. It's predictable. It's when I kind of assumed it was gonna happen. <sighs> Man, not going down kind of stinks. But I mean, there's only so much I could have done. I haven't revealed Flamethrower on Self Steeler yet. Um, I could go into anything and get some HP back. With that passive recovery that I'm getting, there's no way he can win with with this. He can't win this matchup. Can't. But. Man. Alright, so I'm just gonna swap out here. Um, hopefully he gets a rest and I get some HP back and then I can start hitting pretty hard, but if he gets if he gets side shot this time I'm done. Uh, this would be he does get side shock, so there goes Del Fox. Yeah, shit. I was really banking on that. Um so <sighs> this is not working out. Alright, so I'm pretty much stuck to go into Celesteela here. Alright. I'm gonna have to go for the Flash Cannon. I don't think he can beat me in this matchup, but he can stall out the clock and then I lose because I've lost a couple Pokemon, so. If only I could have gotten rest last turn. Um. Kind of makes me wish I had some like setup on like Celestila. Damn, I really don't want to, don't want to play the clock on this. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing it at all. But I can't just get swept by this Celest this Cresselia. <sighs> but he's he's going to. It's going to play out this way. Go for the flamethrower this time. He woke up. He's gonna try to get to plus six. Shit. If I could burn up its rest, which is kind of what I'm doing essentially, I don't need the burn. I do not need the burn. I get the burn. <sighs> well, that's better for him than toxic. Much better for him. And I've revealed my whole move set. Uh, I can really use some special defense drops right about now. He's going to keep trying to get to plus six. So even if he's at plus six, I don't think he could ever take me out with Psy Shock. Like it would. He would need to get to plus six. And then I'm defensive and I resist it. And I'm, I'm getting leftovers. He's gonna rest now, I guess. It's too close for comfort. Got a flamethrower here. No, he's just gonna go for the slash shot. See how much this does. I think he's scouting to see how much damage it does. Yeah, it's not doing enough. The crit would have been good right there. Yeah, pretty sweet. So let's see at w how much it does after all the recovery I'm getting. Um, yeah, I think it's doing like probably around 20 damage after all the recovery I'm getting back. Barely 20 damage. So he's gonna need to rest here. Or swap. <laughs> That's doing. It's not even doing full 10 damage to me after all that recovery. He can't win this matchup. That's all that's shown. So I'm gonna go for another flamethrower here. He's just gonna rest. Okay, so. 
Let's see. Let's see here. I can. I'm gonna win this particular matchup. But it'll lose me the battle. Essentially. What we're going for. Um, I might have to stop recording and then start another recording because my memory is getting a little low for this. <clears throat> so, I'm going to toxic it when it wakes up. I'm just going to keep going for flamethrowers here. Sleep tone. Side shock. That's, that's fine. As long as he doesn't get that, like, every time. As long as he's not getting that every single time. <laughs> that damage is, it's not even worth attacking, honestly. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Even more health than I was last time. Oh man, my DS is gonna die. Crap. Oh, well, this just got a lot more awkward to do. Plug that in, and it's way over there. But it does get the calm mind, which is good for me, kind of. Um. We don't appreciate Stolly battles, even though I kind of figured it was going to happen. It's why I needed him to let the Cresselia go down to the Hyper Beam like it was supposed to. Or the Breakneck Blitz, which almost took out the uh, other thing. So I'm at full. And he is not. I believe it wakes up the turn after this. I'm going to go for the Toxic here. So that is fine with me. So you're going to get poisoned. And it's gonna force you to use your rest. Which is fine with me, because as soon as it's done with rest, how many PP does rest have? Like, holy crap. It's too damn many, I can tell you that much. From experience, it's too many rests. So, what I need to happen is I need a few crits, and he needs to miss a rest, pretty much, which is impossible because still not doing, that's doing t probably 20 damage. Hey guys, Classic Gengar back again, and what basically happened was I had to switch the recording program I used on my phone from one to the one that comes installed on the phone, and it corrupted because it's shitty. That's the reason why I have the other recording program on my phone. Anyways, so back to the battle. Cell Steela versus Space Duck. This is going to take a really, really long time. Um, I win this matchup, It's even at plus 6, it can't get enough damage on me to um, counter out the healing that I'm getting and take me out. So, eventually he realizes this, uh, even at plus 6, I don't think Psyshock would have been like a 5 hit KO or anything, and he would have been losing HP and I would have toxic him, so he needed to keep going for rest, and I could stall out his rest. And <clears throat> so eventually he will switch out. This is now a post-recording, so my uh, memory isn't the best. But I realized this when I was trying to put the video together to upload it, uh, that this had happened. So this is kind of last minute. Alright, so... Not exactly in the best position at this point in the battle. So he is just going to withdraw into his um, Stunfisk. And I just go for the Flamethrower here. That does pretty decent damage, um, actually, looking at it. So 
I do anticipate the electric type attack here. Um, it's kind of obvious. Like, he can't not go for it. He can't go for a ground type because I am flying and I'll just be immune to it and I'll just get more damage. So I do go into my Manetric here and I do take some Stealth Rocks and Spike damage. And he does go for the Electro Attack so I do get a Lightning Rod. I am a plus one fully special attack invested. I am timid over modest though. And I am expert belt and I think that this should easily take this out so I go for it and it misses the KO that might have just been a low roll um, man it kind of makes me wish I had run specs or something but hindsight's always 2020 if I could have went back and played this battle differently I would have but I can't so I won't worry about it and this pretty much leaves me with my Noivern as the last <laughs> pretty much the last really physical heavy hitter on my team so and this is choice specs so I am going to lock myself into an attack and the only thing I can really lock myself into that won't completely screw me over is boom burst could have went for hurricane but the accuracy is just so much better so that does very good damage if I had just gotten a knockoff off on this Cresselia I probably could have taken it out before I could get another rest off so I'm just, I'm stuck going for Boom Burst, um, he's sleeping so I really could use the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Sleep Talk Rest or Calm Mind even, no not really Calm Mind, so actually as you see if he didn't have leftovers I would have been able to take him out with one more Boom Burst here, so that does pretty decent damage because I don't imagine this thing has very much special attack investment if any at all. I am just going to go for another boom burst and it is not going to be quite enough to take it out. But his side shock will not be able to take me out either. So <clears throat> something will go down to boom burst. Um, I'm not in good I'm not, like he has to swap now. Um he pretty much is forced to swap. Uh I'm pretty quick. He doesn't. The Pokemon that can take this thing out don't really want to swap into a Burn Burst, but. So he's gonna go into his Majesty. What was that? I don't know what that was. So he sucks this thing off. Um, which makes sense. I assumed he was just gonna try to get a free swap into his. Uh, Tapu Koko, which can easily outspeed me. Depending on its investment, I'm assuming it's going to outspeed me. And he goes into his Maggie, which is pretty interesting. Um, well, not really. I'm at definitely at extreme speed health. Uh, this thing could be Choice. Uh, maybe Choice Banded, Choice Scarfed. I don't really know. This is the only time it's shown. But, um... So that's all the stuff I was thinking about. If he's not choice, this is going to hurt, but he does have the extreme speed, so it takes him out. The only Pokemon I have left now is Celesteela. So I, at this point, I'm like, well, this thing could go for 1,000 arrows. It probably won't take me out, but it'll do, it'll do decent damage to me. Uh, it would be super effective. I am very defensive, though. So I'm just gonna go for the lead seed here. At this point, I was uh, I was not worried too much about getting damage off. I was uh, I'd really come to face the fact that I had lost. Um, uh, there were some small misplays that I made, and uh, I think I was too eager to do my Z move and all sorts of things. So I do get the lead seed off here, and uh, so I'm gonna be getting some recovery. He did swap and he didn't really need to, so. Or maybe he did, maybe he was choice. I'm not sure. I'll have to watch his side of the battle after I get this uploaded. Which I'm gonna have to really, really push it. Really push it. So, alright, we've got about a minute left of this. 
He's just gonna go for the Brave Bird. He's gonna sack this thing off. I went for another lead seed. Um, because maybe I kind of thought, I don't know, I think I just misclicked. So the Lich Seed is going to not hit anything. You get a little bit left over recovery, and now he's going to bring out his Tapu Koko. And uh, at this point, <laughs> there's no way, there's no way I can survive an electric attack attack from this thing in the electric terrain. I think. I would need to be at full with full HP and special attack investment to survive. I know he's not locked orb, I know he's not choice specs, but that was the only way I could have survived a Thunderbolt, and, excuse me. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this battle, guys. Um, definitely, he brought the same team he brought last his last battle, and I wasn't prepared for that. And uh, there's there's some the hyper beam miss did matter a little bit uh, I think so. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.